So let's start very simply by saying that your transformer consists of a core and windings. It's a mechanical static device. Well, it's not mechanical, it's electrical, but it's a static device. And the windings are what transform the energy from a 480 volt to 208, 120. So it's step down or it could be step up, it could be the opposite way. But it's the transformation of voltage. That's what you're doing in a magnetic core. So what happens is when you talk about harmonics, you're talking about multiples of the fundamental, 60 hertz being the fundamental used in this country. So a harmonic, say a third harmonic, would actually be 180 hertz, three times 60. A fifth would be 300, and a seventh would be 420 hertz. It's that amount times the multiple. The most uh, detrimental ones are third, fifth, and seventh. Any other um, odd harmonic is not that detrimental and doesn't add that much up in the system. It might be more energy loss as opposed to power quality. So what happens is, in order for us to mitigate these out and get rid of them through the transformer and yet maintain high efficiencies, you have to have the technology to do that. And we do that in a very static way without filters or any type of electronic equipment. Virtually, if you take the third and triplet harmonics, they're a zero sequence harmonic and they're going to stay wrapped up into the core of the transformer between primary and secondary. That's your heat loss, that's your energy loss, it sits right there doesn't go anywhere. In order to mitigate that out, we're going to take the transformer uh, harmonic content on the secondary side and we're going, to, we're going to phase shift it basically. What happens is all harmonics are in phase with each other, so that's why they're there. With the third and triplets, we're going to take uh, phase A on the secondary and wind it to phase B, B to C, and C to A. So we take them out of shift, out of phase, and what happens is we have cancellation on the neutral. So if you didn't do that and you had uh, two amps of third on phase A, then two on B, then two on C, you'd have six amps on the neutral. When you take them out of phase like that, you're actually having a cancel mitigation effect, and you end, end up with a minus, a plus, a minus, you'd have two amps on the neutral. So you've reduced it. And that's the simple, easy way to do it without creating any problems. Now, fifth and seventh are going to go through the transformer. They don't hang around, they just leave the party. And what happens is fifth is a negative sequence. So it wants to turn everything that comes in contact into the opposite direction of the power. Example, motor turns in a certain direction. Power turns in a certain direction. The fifth harmonic wants to turn it in the opposite direction. So if you have 10% fifth, it's going to push the motor 10% the other way. The motor is going to heat up. You have energy loss. You have failure. Failure basically is any uh, electrical equipment that's 10 degrees above uh, C, above its rated temperature, you're going to mitigate, while well, you're not mitigating it out, you're going to detrimentally destroy that piece of equipment in half its life. 10 degrees C cuts equipment by half its life. Seventh is a positive sequence, so it's going to turn the motor in the, exactly the same direction, but only 10% faster if you have 10% of seventh. And again, you have heat, you have degradation, and you have failure. In order to mitigate fifth and seventh out without using any type of capacitors or electronic equipment, we actually phase shift two different transformers. So let's say floor A and floor B, you have a, a zero degree phase shift transformer and a 30 degree on the other floor. If you had 10 amps of uh, fifth on one floor and eight amps, they would go to the riser and cancel out. If you had two transformers exactly the same, degree shift, 30 and 30, you'd add, you'd have 18 amps on the, on the riser. So what you want to do is cancel out through phase shifting. So it's the secondary windings and how you wind it to take the um, triplins out and get them off the neutral, and then therefore you don't have the heat and the transform and the losses. And on the riser, it is phase shifting that you do. It's two simple technologies that have been around for a long time that are combined together to reduce your harmonic content, reduce your energy loss, reduce your heat loss, which reduces your air conditioning costs, and cut your greenhouse gases. That's how simple it can be.